Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. We're going to be doing a guide review masteries. Everything on Duchess Lilithu. Everybody's been asking me about her. Hopefully, you were able to pull her this last weekend on two times summons. I really hope so. She's a lot of fun. Let's get into what she's all about. So I have mine in pretty much just all speed gear, as you can see here. Her total stats are a lot of HP, defense, really high speed, and 341 resistance. We don't need to be worried about accuracy with her. And we're not trying to do damage with her. She's not a damage champion at all. We're not going to do any kind of damage. Let's get into her skills. So all her skills are pretty good. She has an aura that's 19% increased speed. We can use that anywhere. Keep in mind that goes off of your base speed on each of your champions, not your total speed, like a speed buff. And then over here we have the passive. Now this passive is pretty, you know, one of the funnest things about her. We take less damage from AOE attacks. Your whole team does, just from this passive alone. So when AOE attacks all your allies, 25% normally, 15% from bosses. Then if they're under Veil or Perfect Veil, they take 40% less AOE damage from all from everything else and 25% less from bosses. So it's a really cool carry, very strong. And then her skill two, we're using a lot because there's so many Tormans out there. So you're going to see her in Arena a lot because she can do this increased attack, block debuffs on all, all your allies for two turns, and then puts them under Veil. So she's the only one that can be targeted if they have single target attack. And if they have AoE, then we're going to be taking a lot less damage from the AoE. We're going to be taking 40% less damage from AoE. And then if you have your guys in stal Stalwart gear as well, 30% less damage taken from AoE. It should stack up. I haven't tested it yet. I really don't know if it does because 70% less damage is a, is a pretty crazy amount. You don't necessarily have Stalwart, but it's something to think about. Something to test out and think about. What I'm going to I'm going to have to test that actually. Do it with Stalwart. Do it without. Take it into something easy, the AoEs. And we'll do some more testing on that. But I think it does stack up. Pretty insane. And then she has this skill 3 that revives all allies at 70% HP. Places the Veil buff on them. And then gives them continuous healing for 2 turns on a 4 turn cooldown. This one, the block debuffs, is 2 turns on a 4 turn cooldown. And then her skill 1 is another support. Based off of defense, but again, don't try to go attack with her. Attacks 1 enemy 2 times. Then places a shield buff equal to 10% of this champion's max HP for 2 turns on this champion and one of your allies with the lowest HP. So it covers one of your allies. It's not a huge shield, but it's enough, right? It helps out. It helps out a lot, especially when she's coming back around and hiding everybody. They're taking less damage from AoE, placing a block debuffs on your guys. And then when everybody, when anybody falls, anybody dies. Now she can only cast a skill if somebody dies. It's kind of weird. Arbiter can cast her skill four when somebody's not dead and get the speed increase. We can't cast this and get the veil and the heal unless somebody's dead. We have to have somebody dead to be able to do this skill. But all in all, she is a pretty cool champion. Let's get into her masteries. So her masteries right now, I just have these. These might change once they change Tormund. We'll have to see what happens. But right now we've got resistance. We've got additional amount from healing and shields. Remove a debuff if you know you get take life. Counterattack. This is what you're going to have. This is pretty much a standard PvP arena defense right here. Especially with Tormund's out there right now. You don't want anything that's going to give you healing. You don't want anything that's going to give you additional turn meter increase. And this right here in Arena is on everybody is just truly amazing. Counterattack when you lose life. Counterattack when anybody gets stunned or frozen. Now, not necessarily this resistance part, but everything above. Pretty much copy-paste that you're going to see on everybody in Arena. Some people are going to have this, of course, for those first initial hits to soak up for their other guys. Great skill to have as well. And then all I've got over here is just additional things to give for more HP. More shields increase, Evil Eye, you know I love Evil Eye on everybody. And then this one I just picked because if people are dead, she'll get an increased speed, maybe come around quicker and get her revive up. But really, it was just whatever you want to pick. <laughs> you can pick. You can pick whatever you want. You could run her with no masteries at all. As you can see right here, it's just basically more things to keep her alive, keep her shield stronger, evil eye, more resistance, nothing too fancy, right? Nothing too fancy because all her skills... There's not any mastery that's really going to affect any of these a tremendous amount. So you can play around the masteries and do whatever you want. Let's get into it really quick. We're going to go into dragons. We're going to use her as an off affinity tank just to show how strong she is. And to kind of show you, because the other video I'm going to show you of her running through. Whoa, this is not the right one. All right, we're going to back out of this. This is my normal team. The other video I'm going to show kind of goes a little bit quickly. And I don't want it to... I want you to be able to see what she can do. So we're going to use her as a carry with a whole bunch of fragile champions. Fragile, fragile, and do we have... Yes, this is perfect. So it should be a pretty fast run, and I don't even know if anybody's going to die because she's so strong. So she puts everybody under Veil, so they can't be targeted. 
All they're going to do is target her, and we're under block debuff. So we can't take the re reduced, decreased defense that uh, Terrell would do to us, which is really good. But our guys are so strong and fast right now, we're not actually seeing her full potential. If we had a really slow, really weak team, we'd probably see it more. I mean, we are seeing it. Look, she covered everybody else again. So if you were to come in here, and she's got block debuffs on. And we're going to see this in spiders as well. If you needed to bring her into spiders to give you cover, put up that block debuff. So she's the only one that can be targeted by the spiderlings because everybody else is going to be in veil. She's going to, she's not going to be able to get those debuffs put on her. Plus, she's got a pretty high resistance right now. She's over 300. So for spiders, that's really good. And here we go. If anybody dies, she's going to bring them back to life. I kind of hope somebody does die. I want somebody to die here on the dragon so you see it. But remember, we're going to be taking a lot less damage from the, from the boss, especially if they're under veil. If they're not under Veil, it's not as much. And of course, it's not as much as if this was Arena. Because whenever it's a boss, it's a lot less. But we'll see. We'll see if the dragon can catch us. But I hope he I hope he catches us like this. I hope he tries to stun or put debuffs on us. And we've got the block debuffs up. And we're under Veil. Well, he's not even he's not even attacked yet. And he's just getting he's getting blasted. Okay, so somebody is about to die. We're gonna have one cold heart die. And she brought her so fast. We didn't. We couldn't even blink. Like Coldheart dropped so quick, and then it was Lilithu's turn, and she brought her back to life. So a minute and 33 seconds, pretty fast. I mean, that's a pretty good speed run. You would do the same thing with Arbiter. So if you're used to playing with Arbiter, it's kind of no different, right? Except that we get to not take as much damage from AOE. I kind of think it's a better carry than Arbiter in some certain situations. I would use her over Arbiter. She really has some really cool stuff, for sure. For sure, as we just saw. And she's got the speed lead that we can use as well anywhere. Let's go over to let's go over to the video. That's what I want to show you guys. And then we'll go to arena. Where do I have the where do I have the video lined up? And then we'll go to arena as well. And we'll show her where everybody loves her in arena. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Recording. Slow down. Let's go full screen. <laughs> okay. Back, back, back. Can we go back? So here we're gonna bring in Fire Knight. We're gonna bring in Duchess Little Two, two cold hearts. We have Seer and we have Rear Guard Sergeant. And I'm going fast in the beginning, but we're going to slow it down when we get to the boss. So we'll be able to see a little bit more. Because really all we're doing is blasting the waves with Seer. We're getting buffs up with Rear Guard. We're getting buffs up with Duchess. Even though Duchess is giving us that cover when she does put up her buffs. Until Seer blows up everything. So we made it to the boss really quickly. Now we don't have counterattack. I didn't bring in Martyr because I don't want to bring in too many legendaries when I'm showcasing another legendary. I don't want to bring in a martyr and be like, oh, look, we did counterattack and whatever else. So we can do it without counterattack. It's not a problem. I've actually run a lot of teams in Fire Knight without counterattack now, but you just need to have the speed. You need to have everybody pretty fast. Now, my Duchess, as you saw, is 311. I have other banners I can put on her instead of a resistance banner to bring her up even higher because right now her resistance banner is only like plus 11 speed. It's not really higher. Plus 10 speed. It might not be that high at all. But here we go. So we have the Masteries. The arena mastery is on pretty much everybody to where we counterattack if we take a lot of damage. My two cold hearts also have masteries where if anybody else gets critical hit, they get a little bit of additional turn meter. So everybody is at over 200 speed, some a lot over 200. That way we're always two turning the Fire Knight boss. His turn meter is going up. We're always taking two turns to his one, even, with about, even without a speed boost. And we've got the 19% speed lead. So that gives our cold hearts... Two turns to get back around to their Heart Seeker, right? Which we just saw there. So a minute 55, usually I am about, a, I did a minute 14 today with my, that was just showing, we're, we're going really fast now. Okay, now here we are. We're going to do Ice Golems again. Boom, boom. This kind of looks like a Seer video. Use your Seer if you have a Seer because you're going to melt the waves and get to the boss and everything you do in 18 seconds. If you have the right setup, you can. So here we have Duchess. Now we want Duchess to pull up the block debuff so we don't get frozen when the boss does his AoE. So I don't think it's going to match up on this video itself right here. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's best case scenario. We have got two turn for a four turn cooldown. Right now she's got it up. So if we got hit and his side champions were up or anything were to go wrong, we would be able to block all those debuffs. And we're able to block the side champions. Like right now, they're trying to apply block healing, decreased defense, all that other kind of stuff, which she is able to stop. 
And then if anybody does die, she's going to bring them back to life. And then we take less damage from AoE. I mean, you can't beat that. She is a much better carry than, than Arbiter. She really is. But don't get me wrong. Arbiter is one of the best legendaries in the game to bring anywhere to carry you through anything. Now, if she would have had it up there, that would have been really nice. We would have blocked all three of these from becoming frozen. That would have been pretty cool. But that's what she does. I mean, she carries you through anything in the game. So if you're trying to progress through content and you don't have the best champions out there or you're not that strong, it might be slow, but she can get you through it. If you make her fast enough, if you make her tough enough, then she will be able to survive out, revive your champions, put that heal on them, get them under veil, and take less damage from AoE. And that's, and that's what it's all about. And that's exactly the same reason we use her in Arena. Same thing. Now, I'm going to show you my Spiders team because I, I, I don't run her in Spiders. I don't really have a reason to run her in Spiders. I use Kaimar and just a regular Spiders team. So I kind of just put this in here to show you that, of course, you can. Of course, you can use her in here. So this is my normal Spiders team. Yeah, okay, Stu, let's go. <laughs> this will only take 30 seconds or so. And I think my Kaimar speed is a little off. I do want to play around with Kaimar and Arena, so I'm going to put him up to around 300 speed to do a little different things with him. So I don't know how it's going to affect my team here. But I did, two, I did pull two Royal Guards this last weekend. So now I can do pretty much all Royal Guards. So if, if I'm coming here with Terrell... Seer and three royal guards. It's gonna be it's gonna be done anyways, and it's gonna be done in a faster time. So I'm not gonna have to worry about bringing my Kaimar in here anymore. We'll have to see about dragons at some other place. I don't know what a 300 speed Kaimar is gonna do first. He acts weird depending on what's going on with the situations. Kaimar kind of acts weird whether he does his decreased cooldown or not. So now we're gonna switch around this team. We're gonna put in. It took me forever to find royal guard again, so I had to clip this. <laughs> we're gonna put Duchess in the lead to get us a little bit more speed. And the other people we have here. Now Duchess is going to cover. So now the Spiderlings are only going to attack her. She does have the block debuffs up, which is really good. So we're not going to take those poisons. And everybody else is going to do work. But honestly, with the team I'm running, it almost looks like we could have... It almost looks like we could beat it with four people. Because Duchess got hit there how many times? Like twice. And now all the spiders are dead again. And she's going to get hit how many other times? We could have had Apothecary in place of her. We could have had almost anybody in place of her in this team. Of course, Miscreated Monster, if you're running Spiders, is, is a really good carry. Duchess is a really good carry. And I don't think... I don't, I'm not even sure if she's going to get hit more on this one or not. But she's so fast. She's looping around to everything and putting cover up. Like She's covering up again. So they can't even attack the other weaker champions if they wanted to. And if the Mama Spider, the Boss Spider, had a chance to attack, we'd take less damage from the AoE. And I think that's it. After this, let's run into some arena really quick. I don't really, you know, I've just been autoing arena, so I don't really have anywhere to show her super amazing in that fashion. Let's get out of here with this. Because I just want to auto arena and get my Great Hall up, right? I just want to have fun with my Great Hall, so I have this team in here to kind of auto. But it's the same thing that you've seen. Everything you've seen in, in PvE against the bosses, against everything else, is basically what she does. She's fast. She puts up the blocks. Now I don't have to worry about Tormund for a little while. I can let my guys, you know, if they did a turn meter increase, if they did a buff, if they do a heal, they're okay. They're not going to get frozen. We don't have to worry about this little freeze game. There, and then that's it. I can let my guys move freely, and it's such a good feeling. It really is. Because without her, it's crazy. It's crazy. I can't wait for them to change Tormund. I don't know what's going to happen. But it'll be interesting to see. It'll definitely be interesting to see. But that's all I got for Duchess Lil Lilitu, guys. Please let me know your comments below. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you all in a video soon.